While I was on the AnyCube Extender Matter with Zhijing, sorry for butchering your name, you are an absolute legend though. He walked me through the features of the brand new Cobra X, which is about to launch to the public in the middle of December. Basically, the whole printer has been redesigned to more closely resemble the Bamboo A1. It's more stable build plate, improved print head, improved screen, and a new multicolor system mounted on top of the printer. For example, like this, you can see the pop is very small. Mm -hmm. The pop is very small. So why the pop is very small? You can turn one, change it to no two. Why? Because this turn one, turn no two. Okay. And we directly integrated all of the changing through purchasing and the cutters inside of the inside of the whole thing. Okay. The, so that means the cutters are much closer to the end of the filament. Sure, basically. sure. Okay. And we no need the EMS. Okay. Instead of this. Okay, cool. Yeah, we save the time, save the material, and save the money. Go ahead. We improve our labeling, software, and the structure of the whole thing. So we can see directly this is the first layer of the, of the product. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Yeah. Can yeah, I ask you? A, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. On the, um, it's not Brenton, is it? Yeah. Uh, on the UI, when you're putting in your when you're putting in your Wi-Fi, yeah. have you got rid of the? Has you got a full QWERTY keyboard now? Keyboard. Yeah. Has, what's the what's the what's the text input system on this? Because you used to be press 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 to get to uh, A B C and all uh, that sort of stuff. This, this Please get rid of that. It, I hate it so much. To do A B C, for example. Here you go. Oh no, it's perfect. You fixed it. That's yeah. good. So before on the Cobra Three, oh. you had to go A B C to select, and then oh, oh it's an absolute nightmare. Thank yeah, this, you. This Thank is you. A UI design. Yeah, good. Uh, what's the cost? The retail price? Cost. Uh, cost uh, you can see as uh, A1 combo. Is that going to run out to say when you release the Cobra X Max and that sort of stuff too? Is it going to be the same hot end? Let's say X generation two will use the in uh, maybe Cobra Three Max. We call Cobra Four Max. Sure. Yeah, Cobra Cobra Four Max and also S1, S2, S2 maybe use this one. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. this is a technology. We just launched this product with this technology. I'll be testing the Cobra X on the channel very soon, so do check back for that one. But next up, another printer I'll be testing on the channel very soon, the S1 Max. So can you just talk me through the printer? Do you want to say hello first? And sort of introduce yourself. <laughs> okay, um, this is the, our new machine, S1 Max. It's a, it's a big one. And uh, the printing size is 350, 350, and 350. Uh, maximum printing speed is the same as S1 Combo, 600 millimeters per second. Mm -hmm. And also, you can see here, and this is a, this is a, a heating chamber there. It can control the temperatures of the chamber. And so it's uh, available to printing some uh, engineering materials like PVA, PC, PA, etc. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can it, um, does it, so it, so it heats the chamber and it, does it cool the chamber as well? Does it have active cooling or is it, um, does it just uh, heating? It also has fans. Okay. If you don't need uh, the temperature that high, then you can stop the, the control the, con control the uh, temperatures okay. and also use the fan to, yeah. yeah cool, great. To cool it. Uh, the Ace Pro is also upgraded to the second generations. Cool, cool, cool. And is it still, good. is it backward compatible so you can still use the old Ace? Um, we don't suggest that. Okay. Yes. And we can use the, the new Ace Pro to old machines, but I think the old machine, uh, old engine, uh, color engines is mm, not that good for the new machines. Before they have some like issues of the filament tagging, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's clogged. And so it, 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 um, snagging and it tangles inside. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah so I, I've definitely run into that before. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> we upgrade the, the mechanics of the, the, the Can you tell me what you've changed? Uh, firstly, and the motors. Before we only have two motors, and now we have three motors. So okay. uh, four motors. So it can. Uh, so each spool's got its own motor. Yes, basically. yes. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's more power to to move the, the filament, and also the mechanic of this shift. Do you want to go, yes. go around the back here? Yeah? Yes. And this part is also in. Yeah, yeah that's, yes. that's, that's really different. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. Right, so to summarize this one, I actually really like the look of this machine and I will be testing one in full, but basically it's an all new printer that's the same size as a Cobra 3 Max. 
new internals, some improvements and a new Ace Pro unit. The old Ace Pro units are no longer compatible apparently, which is a bit of a disappointment, but we'll just have to see how the printer performs. It looks like it'll be a more stable platform that's just easier to use, but time will tell. But let's not be silly, I'm a resin printing guy, and obviously the most exciting thing at the Anycubic booth was the brand new P1, which stands for Professional. Now it's obviously being pitched as something like a Hay Gears competitor, and while the new dual VAT has captured all the attention so far, there are some serious upgrades on this machine which are worth looking at. Let's get into the detail. This is our latest uh, product, uh, Anycubic P1. So why call we call P1, it's named it's a Professional One, or Pro One like this one and from the side of this we can see this is a screw system it's up we upgrade screw system and the steel this is a steel plate compared with the last last generation is aluminum plate and we can see the the size mode is we uh, improve and it is auto heating here and you can we can touch about the film it has so many dots that means the air can easily to join in there. We can easily to take it off. Sure. Okay, so this is the first. Oh, okay. And we change. This is a dual material, dual white. We can print a different material in different sizes. For example, the this here. This is here, this is here, different. We can print the transparency things. And even we can just print, we just use one to print, save the material. And we save the time and save the material. And we can print the high viscosity material, Jason, for this one. High, uh, we can up to around 8K CPS. 8K CPS. Can you give me some specs on the screen, so screen sizes, resolution, that sort of stuff? Uh, screen size, uh, resolution is around uh, 14K. Okay. Our resolution is around 14K. And uh, we also use this one. This is print the high viscosity. No, 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 no. Because it's uh, liquid, it's uh, very <laughs> cold, it's uh, the best case. So we can use this one to print. <laughs> So I have a P1 on route and I'm going to test it more fully, obviously, but for now here's what we know. The printer has a 14K resolution and it's got upgraded internals, it looks like it's got a C5 ball screw in the back of it, as well as, well as three different build plates, two of which is steel, one of which is perforated and the other, the dual one, is an aluminium one. The print quality looks pretty good from the models you showed me, so I'm excited for this one, genuinely. And the price? Well, we managed to tease out a rough price from the sales team and it looks like it's going to be around £800, but who knows, and don't quote me. So I'm back from Formnext 2025 in Germany. I have so much footage and so many things to talk about, so I decided the best way to do that was to put it all in a big old playlist and just release the videos one by one and you can just dip in as you want to. You should see the playlist on screen now, so if you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe. And I just want to say before you disappear, a huge thank you to everyone who supports me over on Patreon or chats to me over on Discord. You are all absolute legends and you know who you are. So I've been James, this is Rising 8 Minis, and I'll see you next time.